Hello and welcome to the channel. The whole Progressives Congress APC has denied the infiltrate and the Labour Party in order to cause the leadership crisis the party is currently facing. Recall that the LP chairman Julius Abure was suspended as a result of this and he laid the blame squarely at the doorstep of the ruling party. APC has now responded and distanced themselves from the allegations. Subscribe like share and comment thank you count us out of your travails apc tells lp shaman the rolling halt progressives congress apc has distanced itself from the travails on the leadership crisis rocking the opposition labor party lp apc national publicity secretary nps Barrister Felix Moka, in a statement in Abuja on Saturday, advised suspended LP National Chairman Julius Abore to swim in the party's mess and leave the party APC out of its self-inflicted problem. The LP Chairman on Thursday accused the ruling party of colluding with the police and other security agencies to invade and seize the National Secretariat of the Opposition Party. But in a statement by the APC spokesman, the ruling party pitched a stand far away from the leadership crisis rocking the opposition party. Mocha noted in a statement, with legs deep in quicksand, the embattled national chairman of the Labour Party LP, Julius Abure, clawing desperately in search of firmer ground, baselessly blames the whole Progressives Congress APC for a sinking on dysfunctional party. In his irrational outburst, Abure accused the APC of colluding with police and other security agencies to invade and seize LP's National Secretariat and staging a crisis in that party. Total vindication of APC of any involvement in LP's imbroglio was swiftly and categorically delivered by Mr. Abure's successor and acting national chairman of LP. Lamidi Apapa, who exonerated our great party of any interference in the party's raging internal crisis. E. Apapa clarified that the reported situation at the LP headquarters was a result of a legal process arising from the orders of a federal capital territory high court that barred Abure and all the national officers of the party from parading themselves as such. The LP's morbid obsession with APCs on Fatamebo and infantile, blaming APC for all its internal woes. Mr. Abure's bogus claim follows Mr. Peter Obi's unsubstantiated and vexatious claim that he was being hounded into exile by our party. Exonerating APC of any complicity in the crisis, Mocha advised Abure to squarely attend to all the allegations of criminal conduct against him and leave the APC out of his travels. To be clear, APC is not responsible for Mr. Abure's travels. He will do well to focus his thin attention on energy on dealing with the many allegations of the criminal conduct of forgery and financial impropriety leveled against him by his party. While the LP continues to grapple with its myriad of woes and crying wolf where none exists, the APC will stay focused and committed to forming a new government to be led by the visionary president-elect Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as he drives the renewed hope agenda and consolidate on the many gains of the outgoing president Buhari administration. There was a new twist to the crisis rocking the LP at the weekend as a former deputy national chairman of the party, South Kalistos Okafo, declared that both the suspended national chairman, Julius Abure, and the acting national chairman of the party, Lamidia Papa are illegal occupants of the seats. In a shot with newsmen in Abuja, Okafo said he remained the authentic national chairman of the party. He said he is rightly so by the virtue of his position as deputy national chairman of the party when the late national chairman, al Abdul Abdukadeh Abdusalam, was in office. He claimed that Abure was acting national secretary when Abdusalam died in 2020 and that he, Abure announced himself as the national chairman of the party without recourse to the provisions of the party's constitution after Abdul Salam's demise. His words, both Abure and Apapa are all illegal occupants of the set. 
Abu Ray as acting national secretary can never be a national chairman of the party unless there is a dissolution and a new convention takes place. A papa that took over can also not preside over any meeting because he is illegal. He went on to express concerns about the recent development within the party and the potential impact it could have on the upcoming legal battle to challenge the results of the 2023 presidential election. He blamed the presidential candidate of the party, Peter Obi, for allowing the crisis in the party to fester for long. Okafor warned that the crisis could undermine the credibility of the party, which could ultimately harm Obi's legal case. He therefore urged the former Anambra governor to take swift action to resolve the crisis and prevent it from escalating any further. Okafor stated, Peter did not handle my case very well. He was busy doing his campaigns and may be delegated incompetent hands to go and sort out the problem. The people he delegated did not do that job very well. Anytime there is trouble, only round table will serve it and such discussions must not come with threats. So, it is disheartening that this kind of thing, leadership crisis, will be happening in the Labour Party that has not seen the kind of light it has seen today before. Subscribe, like, share, comment and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. What is happening now occurred because RB as a leader delegated incompetent people to go and sort out this problem. Instead of sorting out the problem, they were busy threatening and boasting of what they can do. Today, the party is paying dearly for it. Instead of Peter Orby to concentrate on his case at the tribunal, they want him to come down and start dealing with the Abure issue. No. Nevertheless, the Abure issue, if care is not taken, will affect him, Peter Orby, too badly. Because Abure is not the party's national chairman. The constitution of the party made it clear that the acting national secretary cannot become the chairman in the absence of the chairman. Highlighting the importance of unity in the party, Okafor besieged members to put aside their differences and work towards a common goal. Nigerians, all labor party members, all obedience should maintain peace. Nobody should take laws into his hands. We have the courts. I have been patiently waiting for court judgment over the crisis in LP, because it is the hope of the common man. Peace is what we must maintain or care for stress. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.